Hello friends, Rob here on the Flanagan Homestead. It's late October and the ground is getting saturated now and uh, rumor has it we've got one of those atmospheric rivers coming overhead where basically it's this, the same as a river except it's in the sky and it just dumps rain for days and lots of it. And uh, I'm here on Saturday, I was feeding the goats, bring them across the creek, but you can see down here the culvert is getting blocked from uh, the year's worth of rock sloughing off the hill. So I want to make sure before this atmospheric river comes through that this culvert is cleared out. So you might be thinking, doesn't it just rain all the time in Washington State in the winter? And yeah, there's some truth to that. And isn't rain normal? Yes, rain is normal. But uh, now from mid-October on through April, May, June, there's a lot of rain, but it's usually uh, just more of a constant drizzle, light rain with a heavy shower, light rain, heavy shower, just really constant. Uh, kind of wears you out. Uh, but uh, the atmospheric river is one when it just comes and it just comes and, and just rains heavy for a full day or days at a time. And that's what is potentially coming up here shortly. So I need to have the creek ready. So this small creek, which is not flowing very well, well right now, but we're just getting to the start of the season, start to pick up, has, it's a 24 inch culvert, but you can only see the top half of it. I need to free up the rock and let that go through. It's been sloughing off this cliff hillside here, and it gets pushed to the mouth of the culvert. So this creek in the next few days is gonna be four times the size, and I need it to be able to flow through there and not wash out my road. I didn't come uh, dressed appropriately for this. I don't, I don't have a shovel on me, and I just have my Romeos on. But uh, I'm gonna get some, I, I don't wanna run all the way back to the, but to the house and get everything. So I'm just gonna get at least uh, a section of this cleared out so that it can handle it. And then when I come down another day, it'll be done more effectively. Get some of the bigger boulders out. The current will take a lot of the smaller stuff away. I don't know if you can hear the gravel tumbling down the pipe. There was one big boulder inside, I lifted that up. And now it's time, starting to take a bunch of rocks like this and just push it through the other side. Okay, because the uh, Creek level was so low going into this weekend. I think that'll be enough for now. Even with this event, it might raise the creek quite a bit, but I think it'll fit through that culvert. And uh, I'm, I don't know how big of an event it'll be, but we'll see. Uh, I will be, I think most of it's gonna be more to the south of us. So we're, we're just gonna have solid rains, but not a, a real bad one. I just went in and had some lunch with the family. It turns, uh, checked the weather report. This atmospheric river isn't supposed to hit till later tonight and most of it's gonna to be to the south of us in Northern California and Oregon. So we're gonna get some real good water, but not quite as bad 
as if it was centered here. Right now, I'm being blessed with a decent day. It's not warm, it's been moist, but it's not wet. And right now, it's actually pretty nice. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's awesome.